How you doing, YouTube? Matt, Massive Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. We have a Triple California style IPA. Is that a thing? In the form of, uh, yeah, Connecticut Valley. I always have a problem saying Connecticut, so I'm like really self conscious about saying it right. Uh, Connecticut Valley Brewing, it's their new frontier. Triple IPA. Uh, yeah, Connecticut Valley. I'm doing a bunch of their beers. They sent a bunch of beers off, and I am reviewing them. Uh, they just actually landed semi-close to where I live, so it might be one of the reasons why they sent me the beers. But uh, this is the third installment out of six, because that's six, um, beers that they sent me. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what's what. Um, as far as what it says in here, and a little bit of story time, so buckle up. Uh, it says, one small step for beer, one giant leap for beer kind. And the new frontier, hoppy, floral, tropical, a triple California sound indie pale ale. Triple California sound. I assume they're trying to say West Coast IPA, like, you know, maybe. I don't know. We'll see in this gigantic, huge description I'm going to read, and you guys are going to get bored through. What else do we have here? ABV is 11%. Okay, I'm going to try to rip through this. Flubs be damned. It says here, celebrating the new frontier. Blast off with this great taste of a new frontier as you launch your taste buds to escalating heights. Our new frontier triple IPA explodes in your mouth with hops and multi flavors. At Connecticut Valley Brewing Company, we not only make delicious beer, but we also celebrate the great taste of the craft honoring new frontiers. Did you know the aerospace industry in Connecticut is one of the largest in the United States of America? The industry employs 40,000 jobs in the state and is actively growing. The rocket on this can celebrates the new frontier's discovery by aerospace space industry and commemorates their work choose your own path and discover new frontier is your life and know that by purchasing this beer you're saving a part of connecticut's aviation history for a portion of the sale of this beer goes to the connecticut air and space center you can go one step further and get back to the planet by recycling this can to learn more about the connecticut valley brewing company uh go to their website oh, i did okay on that um oddly enough i actually knew that about connecticut uh two roads i think they're Facility is an, an old aerospace facility. I think um, two roads. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think I remember. Uh, yeah, I remember hearing that somewhere that they ended up, the building they ended up putting their facility in was like some old like, rocket facility or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, label wise, eh, it's a little cheesy. Um, not my favorite labels, Connecticut Valley. So it is what it is, but the beer is good. That's all that matters. So what do we expect here? We expect a big, huge West Coast IPA. Piney, bittering, resin, you know, citrus going crazy, you know, all that stuff. And it looks the part. I mean, sure, it's a little bit hazier than what you remember from your classic West Coast IPAs. But um, it has that color on, like that rich, uh, resiny kind of, like, words man they're hard sometimes um yeah I, I was gonna go penny but it's not really a penny thing um it's not apple juice it's like a hazy apple juice it's that classic color that rich kind of color you get from your classic west coast ipas but a hazy version of it, it had a little bit of creaminess to it it's pretty much dissipated at this point it has pretty uniform bubbles and done and done so yeah let's get a nose on her yeah that is exactly what you think it smells like that's what this smells like. Sure, it's a little bit kind of tempered in that kind of piney, resiny region, but it's there. It's there in the background, but it's, man, that, that citrus is rich. There's like real orange in there, and then there's a kind of candied kind of uh, clementine thing going on. And there's this kind of little jelly orange candy thing going on. So it's a lot of different citrus, orange citrus level, not your yellow kind of grapefruit lemon kind of citrus. There's that piney portion of the show. It doesn't get too resiny, but it's definitely there. It's getting bigger with each, each sniff. There's a nice sweetness to it. Probably going to be a little bit sweeter um, in the taste that it is in the nose, but I mean, kind of makes sense. Triple IPA. You know what you're getting in for. Let's just dive in this sucker. Cheers. Okay. Okay. We're going all the different direction here. I can kind of dig it. That resin thing got a bit bigger, but not as big as I thought it would be. It didn't get as sweet as I thought it would be. It's sweet. It's an 11% IPA, and it shows. It's got a really nice, soft, creamy mouthfeel to it. That's one of the things I was worried about, too, is that a lot of these 
triple IPAs, especially like the old school leaning ones, like this one kind of does uh, look like, or looked like to me before I actually took a sip of it. Um, they tend to come off really hard candy. Like this one comes off a little bit creamier. Sure, it does have that hard candy sweetness to it, but there's a creamy kind of fluffiness to it. I kind of dig that. And um, yeah. yeah. It doesn't get too out in left field bittering wise. There's a, more than enough bittering there. It still still steers clear of that resin. Just becomes more of a fresh kind of pininess. Orange is out of control in a good way. Nice mouthfeel. I like it. I mean, I'm very picky about my triples. The high, general rule of thumb with me when it comes to personal enjoyment, the higher the ABV of an IPA. I'm not going to say the less I like it because there's a lot of big IPAs I like, but the more I get kind of like bummed because I want these kind of flavors in a lower ABV beer um, because, you know, 11% beer, man. That's two you're drinking. My eyes are drinking two beers instead of one. I want to drink four beers instead of two. You know what I mean? So, you know, I want to sit down and have a couple of beers. I want to have a couple of beers and have like two beers and then just be like, okay, lights out. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's tasty. But I think you can get this taste from the lower ABV. And that's what I'm trying to say. It has all those kind of old school West Coast, um, uh, old school, new school West Coast IPAs. But it has an added component of dropping out some of that resin component while keeping that pine kind of lively and fresh and bringing a nice mouthfeel to it. I mean, that's the, probably the biggest surprise of the whole beer is that kind of soft, creamy mouthfeel. I could see people going absolutely gaga for this beer. Absolutely gaga. And for, um, for the right reason, but... Your new school haze boy hop thought toothy sea thick butternut squash haze boy. This might be a little bit outside of his comfort zone, a little bit above his pay grade when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, enjoying the IPAs. If you said, "Hey man, I got this big huge hop crazy IPA," and they would be like, "This is disgusting. Too much West Coast, not enough East." It's the way of the world. What are you going to do? But no, I dig it. I like it. It's not my kind of beer. Um, and it's not my level of AB, ABV. But I can sit here right now and say, I dig this. I enjoy it. I think it's fun. Done and done. Let's talk about it. It's one of the better triple IPAs that I've had as late. It's worthy of being in the conversation, actually. Just the mouthfeel alone kind of gets me giddy. It's, it's the combination of the flavor profile. That classic West Coast kind of IPA bumped up to the triple form. But getting that kind of creamy... Nice mouthfeel to it. That in itself is fun as fuck. But I like other beers better. So for me personally, it wouldn't be my favorite, but it's worthy of being in that conversation. Value and availability, no idea. And leave you with, if you like what, will you like this? If you like, you know, big, if you like Two Hearted, if you like, you know, Pliny, if you like those kind of beers, old school Westies, you know, your sculptors of the world, but you want a kind of triple treatment, with a, a little bit of dollop of East Coast influence, you're going to get it in here. In a very fun fashion. So, yeah. Fun beer. I dig it. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little. little I was going to say little. Big triple IPA right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>